Well, hi there, everyone. Um, nice to see you. So, it's been a while. I haven't done some mini one day. If you are new to this, my name is Jessica. I am going to be Monday Minis for you today on behalf of the Ravens. I have two different sets, maybe three I'm going to be working on, depending on how fast it goes. I'm going to start off with what you can see beneath me here for colors. Beneath what you can see from this camera. The yarn base is Yakos, which is our 100% superwash merino. It is a two flight fingering weight. And then there is um, the color weight, which is Shanti. Yeah, uh, you're a guinea game. Um, let's see, Shan Lettering Watch. Thank you, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Don't need to deal with fans. I don't need to deal with crap. We're not trying to grow our audience. We're not trying to make money on this. We're literally just doing this to make sure our fans can see like what we do and have access to us and our customers can see us work and things like that. So like not a normal streamer. We're doing this more so our customers can interact with us and chat with us. So, I already got a couple of you watching. That's fine. I'm just going to grab my glasses and then start it. Like I said, the yarn base is Yakos. It's a fingering weight, 100% super wash merino. It's a two ply. And then um, the color weight is Sean T. So, this set is a full double set. And by the way, I am wearing a waterless leg today. So, I'm full, well, hopefully, fingers crossed not be tripping over any cords because this is the thing that has happened is tripping over cords especially when i'm wearing the wired kitty headset it's still a kitty headset and i should have turned the lights on on this but right now it's hooked up to my uh computer and i don't want to have to hook it up to my phone to change that so this is sean t it is a purple to teal gradient and since i have a double set of this only two colors are going on the wider at a time because there it's Four skeins for two colors in a double set. So, we get started on these. So, anyone who is watching has any questions about yarn, or mini winding, or why we wind minis, or what minis actually are, or about a hundred ravens, feel free to ask.
The only thing is, is that I wish I could get the audio playing through the headset and not through the computer speakers. I don't think you guys are, um, actually I'll turn the music down a little bit for y'all. Um, I don't think, um, I haven't found a way to make OBS send audio to like allow audio to go to the Bluetooth headset while using the Bluetooth headset as the bike, but I feel like it's better to use it as the bike right now and I can hear my computer. So as long as you guys aren't getting a weird echo in terms of like hearing the computer, then you know what? I'm just going to leave it and not complain. I'm just going to say good enough and move on. Oh, and I just realized my tea's on the other side of the table here and I need my tea. Oh, my tea. Or cat get upset. She can get her face and she's not gonna be happy about it, but it's what it is. Sorry, Zelly. Thank you. I got near that's good. She didn't actually like get up or get mad or anything, so. There we go. So Winding minis is a big part of what we do actually in terms of like our kits and our colorways and stuff. We have a lot of kits that use minis and we don't use standard minis because we started doing minis well before um, well before a lot of other people did, so like we weren't getting them from the mill. I will say though, if you have one of our holiday advent sets, those are the mill made minis, not um, not our minis. There is a difference, but yes. But also, I shouldn't get cut off on the music this time, because I'm playing it out of iTunes instead of out of YouTube. So it shouldn't um, give us any trouble about, like, listening for too long, or hey, are you still here? Um, I downloaded, because it is free to download, I'm not breaking any laws here, I downloaded a whole bunch of the royalty-free music that I've been using on these streams. And so that's just on a playlist on Shuffle background. And so that's what you're hearing, is the royalty-free music courtesy of, I think it's Magic Music or Music Magic, something like that on YouTube. I can link it in the description when I put it in, um, but yeah, let's see. Magic Music, that's what it is. It's Magic Music on YouTube. That is the channel, and that is whose music we are currently listening to, to give them credit. Um, oh, lovely, there is now a winter storm warning for my state. That's just lovely. Um, how bad is it? That's what I want to know. How bad is it? I heard we were supposed to be getting some snow, which would be a finally. Heavy snow possible this weekend. Cape Cod on Saturday. It does will spend rain and snow across northern New England. Rain changes to snow as colder air gets pulled into the storm during the day Saturday with snow making it all the way to the coast. Significant snowfall accumulations are expected for parts of the area. 10 a.m. Saturday to 1 p.m. Sunday. All right. Heavy snow. 6 to 14 inches. Well, okay then. I guess it's our first heavy snow of the year this weekend. Uh, that's, that's just lovely. Um, good to know, you know, that's awesome, and it is in fact for the county I live in, so that's that. But anyways, I'm gonna get started on this now, at least I'm in my nice warm house, and I do not need to leave it all over the weekend, or I shouldn't have to. Um, I actually just, um, just installed a, a dash cam in my car today, uh, it was cold when I was outside doing that this morning, but it wasn't snowing, it was just light freezing, literally. Um, but I got that done. I actually, like, did the wired, like, rear cam, too, and I ran it, like, through my trunk. So, um, I ran all those cords and everything today, and I got all hooked up. And so now, because I had some bad incidents this past week that just made it, especially last weekend, like, this past Sunday, I had a really bad incident. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna dox anyone or anything here. You know, I don't even know the woman's name, but I had this woman riding my my trunk so hard in my car that I'm like, is she gonna actually like hit me? Like what is going on? Like she was that close in at highway speeds. And so I'm like, okay, I need to escape it. Because Cyber Monday was a thing that happened this past week, guess what I did? I bought a dash. And because it was Cyber Monday, I got a good deal on one that had the front and the rear cams and also um, had the built-in GPS. So you know, all that jazz, so. And it's actually one of those dash cams that, like, replaces your, um, your rearview mirror. So that's what I got. That's what I'm going to be using. But, yeah. 
Be safe on the roads out there, y'all. Some people are just crazy when it comes to driving in cars and all that jazz. I don't know why, but they are. It's just, it's just a crazy thing. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wish I could figure out why OBS won't allow me to listen in the headphones as well as talk. Considering the rest of Windows does that fine. Like, Discord does that. Like, why can't, why can't I do the thing with Discord, you know? Like, come on. But, um, yeah, I don't know why it's not, like, passing through the audio. Really silly that it does it. And, like, now I'm going to be distracted looking at settings and stuff. It's just like... Come on, you know, but it, you know, it is what it is. And I'm not gonna, uh, fuck with it. Cause you know, I'm in the middle of a stream and everything anyway. So just screw it, you know, but I move my mouse from here, Let's get started. how many rotations this motorized one makes and then okay that music is still fun cool um i just count off how many rotations the motorized swift here makes and then i um i'm off and do it again and i get seven of these out of one of these so i can do up to four at a time right now which is nice Push them up into the little mini hanks and hold on. And we got one mini. I know the lighting's not the best, but it is what it is. And then an attic. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Not only that, but yeah. Um, See, there's a lot of yarn and stuff behind me, but that's my personal stash. That's not for work. This is my stuff. This is mine. All back here, this is all mine. Don't really have anybody watching. Oh well. I'm not expecting, you know, everyone to tune in just because I'm like, that's fine. You know, it'd be nice. So, you know, we got some followers. It'd be nice if people said hi. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna cry about it. But, I might be quiet for a little while if, you know, there's no point in me talking because there's nobody here to listen, you know. If everyone had a good, if you're here in the US, I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving last week. I know we haven't been live for a while, but well, it was, the it was the holiday, and I was spending time with my family, and I'm the one that's really going live. So we did have a live stream last weekend, though, as part of Virtual. Um, we did that. That was on Facebook. That wasn't here on Twitter. That was on Facebook. But, you know, um, if you caught that, great. Um, I need to get that up on, our, um, up on our YouTube page, but I will eventually at some point, probably over the weekend, because I'm going to be uploading a whole bunch of stuff. Why did this power off? What? What? No, I'm using it. No! What? Why did this power off? I was using you! What the? You know, y'all, I am not happy about this. I mean, it's- I'm not. It, I'm really not. What is this now using as a mic? Like, I don't even know. What did this default to? I mean, obviously you guys can still hear me because... Video broadcast. What did NVIDIA broadcast default to? The Brio. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. That works. I give up on the wireless headset for now. This is just too much. So I'm going to drop that a little bit. I'm going to drop that a little bit for y'all. 
And I'm just gonna, you know what? I think it's because there was no output. These were acting as a mic, but they weren't acting as a, um, as a headset, like to listen. And so I think that's why they cut off. So, you know what? I need to adjust them. I need to change colors. I need to, I need to do a whole bunch of stuff with these. So I'm just gonna say, done with the kitty headsets for now. And I'm just gonna use built-in mic on the Brio. And that'll just have to be good enough for you guys today. I'm sorry that the audio just so suddenly changed. Um, these decided to turn themselves off. It is what it is, unfortunately. So it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be that. I can't, you know, I mean, I could pause the stream and I could fiddle with it and everything, but like, you can only do so much with OBS when it's open and running. So, you know, I might go to the OBS forums again and see if there's anything new about the Bluetooth issue. Because it's like, hey, I would like to be able to hear what's going on on my computer in the headset while I'm using the headset, you know? So, that's a thing. Um, you know, that's a, that's a thing. <sighs> so you might hear some of my computer noise now, because my computer is, in fact, um, working rather hard. I can actually change that. I can turn the settings up so that it's working less hard. And change the settings. Come on. Come on, Coleman. Please open the thing. Thank you. Performance control. High performance. Thank you. There we go. That cut the fan noise because, hey, when it's on high performance, you know, it releases more of the CPU and stuff. There we go. That's not as much fan noise. I mean, okay, then the fan immediately picks back up, but it's not as bad as it was. It's really not as bad as it was. Um, but yeah, audio issues. Lovely, right? So. And I, like, don't even want to deal with plugging in the, the wired kitty headset right now because I do not... The cord was getting, like, actually genuinely dangerous for me to walk around attached like that to the computer. Because, like, I almost tripped myself a few times the last stream, so I'm just not even... But if anybody is watching has any idea of how to get OBS to not only um, use a Bluetooth headset as a mic, but also how to also listen to audio on it while you're, you know, using it as a mic, that would be appreciated. Because, you know, that would be good, but, you know, not the end of the world. I'll figure it out eventually, you know, trial and error. I'm not an expert at this. I'm not a professional. I'm literally, like, literally work for a yarn dyer as my day job, so, you know. You know, what can you do, you know? I'm gonna be doing some Googling after this to see, you know, how how to make it do the thing because there's got there's on there's gotta be a way. There's got to be. Like I can't believe that OBS sucks with wireless audio this badly. Like I just I, I refuse to believe it. So because it's so good at everything else. Like come on, why why do you suck at wireless audio? But alright, ooh, stretch a little bit and back to winding. adjust this camera just a little bit because I realized that this was not showing all of the news. There we go. Here we go. Right here. Minis. I lined them up before I leave them. I know the color's off of that camera. I... It's been trouble because like the lighting on that side of the room is not great and the walls are painted blue and for some reason the the strip of LEDs I got is also like ghost blue. If I hit yellow, that's actually better if I hit yellow. What about red? How is red? No. Orange. No, oh, that's like pink. Yellow is probably actually the best one actually on that. So let's go with yellow. Let's go with yellow on the ceiling instead of the 
to compensate for the blue light, apparently. Um, yeah, light doesn't work the way, um, like, paint does, so, you know, stuff's more likely to cancel each other out and things, so. I don't know. And I have, um, I have a chopstick tape to the other side of the table right here to fold these up over. But that way, I can fold up the minis real quick and it's nice and easy. Whoop, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, don't look my phone while I do that. That would be bad. I'm actually getting a new phone. It's supposed to be here on Sunday. This one is good, but um, I did pay it off, and it's been paid off for a little while, so I decided to, since it was a sale on the phone I wanted to upgrade to, and it was a good sale, I'm upgrading. I'm going to give my mom my current phone, because that works perfectly fine. It's paid off. So, that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of like the mouse. Realizing I clicked something real quick that has nothing to do with the stream at all. There we go. Okay, cool. And what? Oh, I got a missed call. I don't know who called me, but missed call. Always good. Okay. All right, that's a thing. There we go. Nope, nope. Don't be caught on the mouse. All right, move the mouse. Yarn getting caught on the mouse is a bad thing. Come on. There we go. Oh, I gotta remember, mm, I gotta remember what I was gonna get something like to ask him about the drive band on this. This thing right here, this band, um, it's a little, it's come a little loose over time. And, um, you know, I need to, uh, see if he knows where we can get a replacement. That would be good. Um, it really would be. So, <sighs> just, you know, it'd be nice to, to see if we could get a replacement, because apparently the place we were getting them from is out of stock and is expected to be out of stock for the next who knows. So we need a way to um, to replace the drive band because it has totally 100% become too loose over time because they do stretch out with use. And so, yeah, we need to figure out a way to make that better because reasons. And yeah. Whoop, hello. Lift off a finger. Nope, not any messages in Discord. There we go. Awesome. Um, I'm just checking something here. Sorry about that. I got a notification pop up on my computer and I'm like, oh, what's the notification? We'll see. We connected? We'll see how this is. Uh, I'm gonna try these again, because, you know, why not, right? I changed this to use. Does this still work? Hey, yes it does, awesome. So, and hey, you've got the mic back. I can turn this back up a little bit. Awesome, there we go, cool. Figured that out. I actually, <laughs> while I was winding this set, basically turned on the Bluetooth, turned off the Bluetooth on my computer, turned on the Bluetooth on my phone, and then 
I connected these to my phone, I changed the settings, disconnected it from that, connected it back to my computer, and here we go. I have a working mic again. And I set these to auto shut off to never, at least for now, because that way at least I can still use them as a microphone. Even if I can't use them as a head, as, you know, to listen to the music with, I can at least use them as a microphone. Which means you guys won't hear as much computer noise and there's less, like, distortion and all that jazz. I need, like, another strip of LEDs, which is kind of crappy because I don't want to have to get another one and put more up on the ceiling and stuff. But, like, I need, like this part of the room like over here you know i need like that corner of the room to be illuminated really but you know eh, whatever here's what it is oh yeah so you know there we go i'm starting to get to my piles here it takes a lot longer when i'm doing just two colors instead of just one so like i will say that that like you know, I'm at it for a lot longer with each of the colors because there is, you know, two skeins of each color, you know, so. So I have three left to do. So this is mini skein number four that I'm winding off on. Yeah. So I've done four mini skeins off of these skeins, so now I'm on to mini skein number five. Like I said, I'm counting the specific number of rotations and then stopping it so that they're all at the same size. I don't know how they originally figured out this number. Becca and Kel figured out this number and I'm like, okay, I'll just use the numbers you gave me because... Mm. Huh, fuse is on. I have my personal Twitch on my phone and so it's like, oh hey, so-and-so streaming, oh hey, so-and-so streaming. I saw a lot of the people who are big, um like games done quick names because I do enjoy watching their runs and stuff and so like Keys are on and Jay Hobbs and Spike Vegeta um, but I also follow like Grand Pooh Bear you know, so Grand Pooh Bear did a um, did a fan made version of Among Us that was for VR this week and it's just like I was watching it going oh boy that looks you know if anybody's played Among Us or knows what Among Us is Just to sleep over on my desk. So, but yeah, I'm gonna have 14 of each of these little minis of these colors instead of just seven, which I've done in the past. Yeah, if anybody wants to ask any questions, well, I have a, says I have one viewer at least. Um, I think that's a one. Yeah, that's a one, even more gospel. It's a high-res screen at a distance, so the font's a little small, but, you know, is what it is. Why am I getting, like, eight bajillion messages all of a sudden? Please stop. Please stop. Leave me alone. I'm trying to do a stream. Leave me alone. No. No. Leave me alone. Alright, I'm trying to just clear the stuff because like, ah. Why you do this to me? Okay, never mind. That's whatever. Okay. Cool. Cleared all of the like, hey! Cleared all the at mentions, you know. There's still plenty of unreads, but I cleared all of the, like, stuff that was actually, like, addressed to me online. So that's a thing. <laughs> and yes, these yarns, these yarns do come from pet-friendly, from a pet-friendly home, or pet-friendly homes, plural. Because they're at my house, they're at Becca and Cal's house. They do come from a pet-friendly place.
There we go. That, so this is number six. I have one more mini to wind off and there should be just enough yarn left there for those. And then there should be just a little bit left over and we do save that. Um, but yeah. What's today? The fourth? Yeah, the fourth. And as birthday's in a few days, I gotta call him. By the way, to anyone who celebrates out there, Kagsamea Hanukkah is coming soon. It starts on the 10th, the week from yesterday. It starts, so. Happy Yule. Uh, Samhain was last month. Is it Samhain? 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 Is that how you say it? That was last month, but, you know, to any of you that celebrated, I hope it was a good one. Um, happy Yule, upcoming Happy Yule, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, all that jazz. Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to do this after the last stream. I still need to add the little YouTube icon. So over there next to, right, with the names and the icons and stuff, there's supposed to be a little YouTube icon next to the spaced out A100 Ravens as opposed to the um, the all one word 800 Ravens that is our user, that is our handle everywhere else. Um, and I need to add that YouTube icon because I keep forgetting about that. I need to do that, I need to make like a note to myself. Hey, add YouTube icon to stream overlays because that is a thing that needs to happen. we go. All right. One more mini out of these colors and then I'm on to the next two. Whoop, hello. And sometimes, unfortunately, the yarn gets caught on the hook that's on this side of the of the swift here, so I have to be careful sometimes. There we go. And this one had just enough. Sometimes there's a couple of wraps left. Sometimes you get it just right. Um, I tend to wind the minis a little heavy, so you're actually getting a little bit of extra yarn in the ones I wind. So um, if I come up like a round short, you're actually still getting as much as you're supposed to be getting. And it's only the extra that it's short on. So if you ever see me tie off and add a mini to the pile that hasn't had that's like one round short compared to the others, don't worry, everyone's getting the same base amount. It's the of extra that's a little variable. Because there is some just variation in what comes from the mill. Some skeins have more wraps on them than others. And um, but I'm actually winding extra as opposed to like the exact amount. Because if I wound just the exact amount, there would be a lot more yarn left over here than there is. So I wind that extra so that we don't have anything left over, basically. Um, and because of that, you're always getting a little extra. Now, like I said, if you ever see a mini that's a little short, like one that like ran out like a wrap before the others, you're still gonna get the amount you're supposed to. It's just that little bit extra that's gonna be a little less. So this is mini number seven. Got like some tightness like right here. But I don't know why. I had I ate lunch. I took my meds. Did everything I was supposed to today. I even went for a walk, so like I got my exercise in and I'm standing now, so it's not like I'm sitting at a desk all the time, but it is what it is. I'm sure I'm fine.
I'm gonna just jam into the music a little bit. All right, there we go. Those two colors are done. On to the next two, which are these two like mid-rangey purples here. One was more like a pink. One of them's more like um, I'd say like a bluish color, pinky blue, purplish blue. I'm not quite sure how to qualify this color. This one here, it's got some blue in it. Right, this one's more like a purplish blue. This one's like a pinky, pinky purple. But sometimes the skeins are not the prettiest after they've been dyed, and so that's why I always, um, always like flatten them out and or make sure they're organized and there's no strands going the wrong way or something. That's what I just did. I found a strand that was going the wrong way and I fixed it, so. And again, four skeins at a time, but it's two colors because there's two of each. I'm doing 14 sets. So I, I'd forgotten that I had some of the Shanti labels printed out. And I found them, so I, but I still need to print seven because I only had, um, only had seven labels, but I needed fourteen. So I just realized I keep maxing out the mic here, and I don't want to be in the red that much. So I'm just gonna drop that down just a little bit, so that I stop. That's so I stop maxing it out, and there we go. That's good. All right, cool, awesome. And I also find which end, because these have like an inside and an outside, so I always find which end is on the outside. And I always have that end coming from this direction so that I have them all organized and doing what they're supposed to do when winding. You can see that this one actually is... Where is it? Yeah, it's a little darker at one end than it is at the other. You can kind of see it. There's a little bit of variation, and that's on purpose. Definitely on purpose. Let me do that. Because it gives the yarn just a little bit more interest, at least when it comes to the minis. Um, for some of our other skeins, we definitely want like more solid of a color for some of our colors. But um, yeah. Definitely. Um, oh, and next week on Friday, if you're watching now, you get the dish. So next week. On Friday, December 11th, 2020, we are in fact going to be attending, well, we, I say Becca and Kel will be on camera, I'll be behind the camera, um, the Madison Knitters Guild monthly meeting in December, and there's going to be a short video, which I will be, um, in that video, I'll be presenting in that video, um, but there will be a short video about, like, our process, and what we do, and where we do it, and our studio space, and all of that jazz, and then also, um, you know, Beck and Kel will be part of the hour meeting, and they'll be taking questions, so if you belong to the Madison Knitters Guild, you know, hey, maybe check that out, you know? Um, oh yeah, I was supposed to have this stuff to live with Amazon today. So, what's funny is that I ordered the new phone, right? But I didn't get the accessories through my carrier, because those are always way, way, way overpriced. Never buy the accessories through your carrier. You will pay through the nose when you don't have to. Like, just don't do it. Right, so I ordered the accessories online, and uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I got a, a Galaxy Note Ultra, actually. Um, it was like, it was five hundred dollars off, so you know it made it worth my while to do it. Yeah, so it's arriving by ten p.m. It's already like four forty-five, and somehow I'm gonna. And then FedEx was jerking me around this past week for receiving these. I actually just only received these pink headphones last night. Um, because apparently, like, FedEx is stupidly backed up right now. Like, stupidly backed up with all the online shopping everyone's been doing because of the year 2020 has been, or is, continues to be. So, and by the way, okay, I'm going to sidetrack. This is not talking about yarn or anything, but this is like, one of my other personal interests besides yarn, and this is me as a person, not as like the business, is I love astronomy. 
I freaking love astronomy. When I first went to college, it was going to do physics so that I could go on to be an astrophysicist and do astronomy like as a living. Like my dream job, my goal was to end up at NASA when I first went to college, university, whatever you want to call it, right here in the U.S. And unfortunately, you know, that didn't pan out. That didn't work out. I am not, in fact, a physicist, but I still have a love of all things astronomy and stars. And so this week when the Arecibo collapsed, I was just heartbroken. Um, I'm just still heartbroken because it was still doing such good science. The telescope was actively doing science. You know, the scientists were using it for their research. And, um, you know, and I know that it had been damaged. I know that it was old and aging, but I had hoped that maybe it was savable. You know, it was salvageable, that they could repair it and that it could, in fact, you know, um, be resurfaced and usable and repaired, you know, and I had, I had hoped, you know, but then on Tuesday when I woke up to the news that the Arecibo had collapsed, I was just like, no, 2020, just please, please 2020, just give us a break. Um, and I know that many scientists around the world were very, very saddened by the Arecibo collapse. Um, and if you have, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google the Arecibo telescope. That is A R E C I B O. I always want to spell it with an A because that's the way I say it, but that's not. It's A R E C I B O. A R E C I B O. Arecibo telescope. They've now released video of it, and that's kind of even worse than seeing like just before and after photographs. Seeing the like actual like video of it falling is just like. Because my little, you know, astronomy nerd heart is crying. And, like, you know, after the initial, like, shock and upset and on, you know, and, and you know, all that stuff. Then, because of the year 2020 has been, it was, okay, who had radio telescope collapse on their 2020 bingo cards? Because, really, at this point, like, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody had that somewhere, you know? wouldn't have surprised me. Like, it just really wouldn't have, because it's just, it's been one of those years, right? And then one of my online friends, <laughs> we were joking, he's like, I don't want to say what I'm thinking because I'll jinx it. I said, no, 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 apparently 2020 is the year of, if you say it, it doesn't happen, so go ahead and say it. And what she said was, at least the Queen and Betty White are still alive. And I'm like, yes, so I'm telling everyone that. At least the Queen and Betty White are still going, and if they make it to 2021, we'll be great. I know I'm an American, we're not even beholden to the monarchy, like, nothing like that, but honestly, like, who doesn't like Queen Elizabeth at this point? Like, come on. You know? I can only hope that we make it through the rest, you know, and we lost Alex Trebek, and like, you know, like, come on 2020, just stop, please, you know? And here, you know, earlier in the stream, I mentioned that we got the winter storm warning for here, and I'm just like, well, this is lovely. <sighs> you know, we could get over a foot of snow, a first, we had snow back in like, October, and it's like, oh, hey, winter's here, all right, get out the snow boots, get out the shovels, blah, 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 everything, right? And then it's like, oh, wait, no, never mind false alarm, winter isn't actually here, and just like, um... <sighs> what was I gonna do? I was gonna respond to this message. There we go. If I had the answer in the form of an image on my phone, so I just sent it to them. Because that's the thing. I feel like I need to move my switch farther back on the desk, because when I turn- so I turn my second monitor this way so that I can have the two screens when I'm streaming so that I can watch uh, the, um, the stream manager in Twitch but also keep an eye on OBS, right? And I have one off on each screen. And so um, I turn my second monitor so that I can see. And so the problem is, is that I got a new second monitor and um, my Switch is on the desk as well because when I stream on my personal channel, I'm often streaming a game or something. And... Uh, yeah, it kind of hit the switch when I turned it today, and I'm just like, mm, I need to not do that, oops. You know, like, oopsies, I need to not do that. <sighs> well, it is what it is. I mean, at least, like, um, 
you know, the stream looks to be going well. I don't think I've had any issues in OBS. I don't think I've seen any frame drops. I've dropped not even 40 frames total in the last 45 minutes, so I'll take that as a win. My personal internet has been a little flaky. Oh, I'm up to two viewers. Hello, second person who's watching. Zoe, what are you doing? Zoe. Zoe, don't step on that. You can't. Thank you. That was being trouble on the desk. Yes, you're cute. Do you want to say hi to the people online? Come here. No? Okay, fine. Bye. I'm not going to chase her. No, I'm not going to play tag right now. No, I'm not. Hello to the person that just tuned in. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about what I'm doing, feel free to ask. Just don't spam, please. I've had enough of that today. <laughs> More of a lavender. It's not really blue. It's more of a lavender. This is more of like a lavender color in this one in the middle here. Can't really see it because the light. That light is too. I need like. I need a diffuser on that. Is what I need really. Oh well. Yeah. I'll play with it eventually. Like it's not helping that the sun's already gone down and it's pitch black out and it's not even five o'clock yet. There we go. So yeah, this is like kind of like the middle of the color. It's interesting how like you'll have like the super like bright shades at each end, but in the, and they're not necessarily more muted because they're just as saturated as the other ones, but the colors are a little more subtle in the middles I found. Um, you know, it really depends, but yeah. So it's interesting to see how the color changes over time. That's why I have this over here. I know it's not the best. It looks terrible actually should like see if I can't put a filter over it or something to kind of adjust the color again because I did make these did make the light I have on the screen in yellow I'm just going to try to adjust it real quick here oh, I'm just going to try to put a color filter on it just for a sec here color yes color let's try color correction just a whoop hello as I hit stuff on the table I have over here up the game a little bit Let's up the saturation a little bit. You just, yeah, just a little bit. That's actually better. I know it doesn't seem like that to y'all, and it actually is blurry. I just realized it's blurry, so I'm gonna do this and then move my hand away real fast and hope that focuses. Hey, now it's in focus. So that is, in fact, now a bit better at least. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I made some improvement. I got it to focus at least. That's the thing. Hi, Zoe. You back? I know, your man's not home yet. I know, he probably hasn't even left work yet. Yeah, I know. You're stuck with me. I'm the only human here. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> Meow, what? You little shit. You are not supposed to be- uh-uh-uh. Get down, Zoe. Down. Down. See, when I say what I mean when it's a pet-friendly home? There's a pet, and she got on the table, and I can't control what she does when I'm not home, so sometimes she gets on the table when I'm not here. And sometimes she gets on the table when I'm standing right here, and she knows she's not supposed to be on the table. Yeah, you, you're a little shit. You're cute, though. Come here. Come here. You're trouble. You're trouble, 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 trouble. Yeah, she's cute. Look at that. Look at that face. She's cute. She's trouble, but she's cute. Your sister's trouble, too. She's not really your sister. But, you know, the other cat is trouble, too. Yeah, you went down. You're not feeling it. Alright, there you go. Go on. Really, Zoe? The box? 
Really? You're gonna get in the box? I thought you didn't like boxes. How was the other one that likes boxes? No, oh, did you just like the crinkly noise? Yeah, did you just like the crinkly noise? Is that it? Is that what that was all about? Was the crinkly noise? Why do I keep getting ugh, I keep getting notifications? I need to stop. <sighs> At least it, you know, at least the mic is clear because I'm using the headset, you know? Eh, it is what it is. Back to, oh, back down to one viewer, they left, oh well. Sorry, it wasn't entertaining. No, Zoe, I brought a cat bed up for you. Why don't you sleep in it? Of course she won't, because what cat ever sleeps in a bed that was actually bought for it, right? Like, cat. This was mini number three off of this game. You can see how, like, these compare to these piles, right? So, um, you know. I stack them up like that so they're easy to grab so I can bundle them up with the bands and the colorway labels. Oh, now she's sitting under the desk, because of course she is. She's sitting in the middle of the rug, underneath the desk. No pillow, no nothing, she's just sitting there. Because she's a cat, because of course she is, you know? I kind of want to turn on this behind me. I got a Chromecast plugged into that. And um, I use it to like watch stuff when I'm up here. But like, you know, I can't actually watch copyrighted stuff while I have it. But like, you know, just to have something in the background, you know, just to have like images or something. I don't know. I don't think it's needed. And I'm standing in front of it most of the time anyways. Almost lost count on that one, but I didn't. We're good. Honestly, what's nice about these head this headset is that um, it like basically like doesn't touch my ears. It's actually like on my head, around my ears, which is really nice. So makes it pretty comfortable. Okay, there we go. Three out of seven is done. On to number four. So I think once I finish these, I'm going to take a short break. I've realized that um, the tea is not quenching my thirst. In fact, I should probably have some water. So what I'll do is, when I'm done winding these minis off, I just, I'm, a, I'm at the halfway point, so I might as well finish these. I'll take a short break. I'll run downstairs. I will get some water, and I will come back up and get back to the winding. So I should be gone in less than five minutes. And I'll leave the music playing while I'm gone, so you're not just listening to silence. Uh, but yeah. Whoop, hello. There's a siren. We live very, very close to a fire station, so we hear sirens a fair bit, actually, here. Every time I go for a walk and, like, try to hit, like, a poke stop, I feel bad because, like, the fire station is, like, one side of it is a poke stop, and then, like, the other side of it, because there's, like, a memorial bench, is also a poke stop. And I'm just like, 
I swear I'm not trying to be creepy. Like, I swear that, like, I'm just, like, trying to hit the focus off, and I'm not just standing outside the fire station with a phone. Like... But I, what actually, I'll be, what we good about the new phone I'm getting actually is that it has expandable storage. I can put an SD memory card in it, which is good. I bought one today because I had to go get one for the uh, for the dash cam. So I bought two while I was at it because they were on sale. And so I can double the storage in my phone with the micro SD card, which will be good because then I can put all my music on that and have apps on the phone itself. I have a lot of music, like, in my music collection, and granted it's all, like, royalty music, so, like, I couldn't play any of it on stream because royalties, um, and Twitch is getting rather uptight about that a lot, so, you know, but, um, I have a lot of music, I have, like, 75 gigs or something in music, it's a lot, I have a lot, and so, um, I actually do have it all on my phone, so I don't need to stream it, problem is, is that, on this phone... <laughs> It doesn't have expandable storage, and so I'm just kind of stuck, like, with 128 internal gigs, which I know is more than most phones have anyways, but... I could not survive with, like, a 64 gig memory on my phone, because I'm like, I, that wouldn't even fit all my music! That's why I actually stopped using the iPod, because they stopped making the iPod bigger than, like, 64 gigabytes, and I'm like, wait a sec, I have more music than that, this does not compute, so the one Apple product that wasn't software that I was using, I stopped using. Right? I stopped using my iPod. I still use iTunes because that's where all my music is and whatever, fine. Um, I can sync it to my phone anyways. That's easy enough. Um, so yeah, I like stopped using the one physical Apple product I actually still use because they stopped making it in a large enough capacity for, me to, for it to be useful to me. There we go. So that's that. This is number five of the minis off of the big screens. I hear the cat, but I can't see her, so I'm wondering what she's up to or doing. Oh, she's gonna be trouble some more. Any more trouble? What are you doing? Where even are you? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. You're, she's in the box right behind me. I don't know if you all can see that. There she is. You be in a box, kitty? You be in a box, kitty? You silly girl? Yeah. You good soul? I didn't realize she was in the box right there. Ha ha. She must have come around behind me while I was counting, and I didn't notice. Yeah, you're cute. It's normally the other one that likes the boxes. We actually have some Amazon boxes, like, in the kitchen, just sitting there. Because the other cat likes him so much, she'll just hop in him. Yeah? You being a good girl? You good, Joey? You good? Five. Yeah, and that color is better. Actually, like the compensating I did with the with the filter in OBS. I know it's not the greatest look, but it's better than it was. Better than it was. And using the yellow light instead of the white. You'll see the difference. If I put it on the white, you'll see, see how blue that is. But if I put it on the yellow, it kind of compensates for the blueness of the light, so... Hearing her move. Did I need your ear or something, so? Right, two more minis. So this is number six. And when I say two more minis, I mean wound off of here, not like in total. I still have three more colors to do after these, but I have two more minis to wind off of the big thing. So this is number six of seven. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Nope, I cannot drop the end. That would be useful. <sighs> I just realized there's no light on downstairs. This is going to be fun going downstairs. We don't have anything on. We should have something on a timer, and we don't. It's like, oh. Come on. Okay, yeah, I just don't want those to get, like, tangled, you know, when they're... Come on. There we go. Got it. So it looks like you still have one viewer look, hanging around at least, unless unless Twitch counts stream elements, at which point, okay, well, we don't have a viewer, but, you know. I mean, the reason I'm off to the side like this is because if there's a chat for questions and stuff, if I was going to answer questions. Oh, hey, we got someone. Hello to the person that just showed up. Hello, thank you for checking this out. I am Winding Minis. And our colorway of Shanti. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in chat. I am asking, I am taking questions about the yarn and the business. Not necessarily about me, but it's AMA about, like, yarn. So, feel free. Or if you just want to know what the bleep I'm doing. Either way, even if you don't say anything, thank you for checking us out, and I hope you come back next time. Our, we're streaming a little erratically these days, but hoping to get better at it. the last mini on off of these skeins so as soon as i've tied these off i'm gonna run and grab a drink real quick because I do in fact need some water and i'll do that we'll have the other three colors of this set to do along with um a whole other set but that's just a single set there's only one skein of each color for that so i'm pretty sure that's that's nebula i think this is nebula yeah i think this is nebula just double checking, I have it hanging up on the side over there. So is this these are yes. So we keep these little scraps if they're more than one wrap around the winder, and that's because we sell what we call little poppers. Um we need to get them online, that's the thing we've been needing to do. We take all those little strands, ball them up. You can get just like, you know, a 50 gram baggie of assorted scraps that you can use as like accents and color work or whatever, you know, um, just a little pop of color, hence why we call them poppers. But we need to get those up online. The problem is, is that each bag is so individual that like it's a little hard sometimes, but you know, we do our best. But there we go, that's color number three, totally complete, right there. You can see in the camera down there. So this is color number four, and that's going to be done in just a moment. Yes, my cat is right there. So, now that I've finished twisting all of these up, I'm going to take a short break, go and grab some water, and when I come back, we will keep going on the mini sets. So, we will, in fact, keep going as soon as I return. So, be back in a moment.
All right, and I'm back. Told you it would be quick. Sometimes really cold water just hits the spot, you know? Sometimes, sometimes you just need that cold water. Much better. All right, moving on. Got three colors left. As you can see that, like, this one is kind of an in-between of these two, so. Come on. Oh, don't get caught, you stupid thing. They like to get caught on stuff, because of course they do. But, you know. <gasps> there we go. Awesome. Yep. Cool. Actually, I'm just going to take it off that other ring and put the other um, little ring on this ring. So that, in fact, they're all together. And I don't need to worry about losing any of them. Don't get caught again, don't you dare. There we go. That yeah, was pretty good. Hour, not about an hour ten. Stream health is doing all right. Still at only 39 drop frames for the entire stream, so I'll take it, you know, hour ten. 39 drop frames. I think that's pretty good. Great. Not too bad in terms of quality. I think I'm outputting it 1080p. If I'm not, I apologize. I thought I was, but might not be. What is my output? I can just easily check here. What is my output? Quality auto. 48. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not outputting it 1080. That's probably why I'm not having any issues. Well, all right, well, I can't change it now. I should have checked. See, that's another lesson learned. Check before you stream. What your stream resolution is doing. Because obviously, like, mm -hmm. Oh, I think, oh, I know what happened. I changed it. Because I'd done one to Facebook. And Facebook only takes 720. And so, yeah. Sorry. The 720 equivalent stream. Sorry. You know. Forgot to check the settings before I did the thing, because of course I did, and yeah. Oh well. It's what it is, not the end of the world. So. Oh boy. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Like that. What so? You keep flicking in the air. Like, what's going on over there? You got an itch or something? You got something stuck in your ear? Do I need to look at it? Hope not. You'll fight me. She's pretty strong for a tiny little thing. glad I finally got this headset. Like, I've been waiting for this for, like, a week. Because I got to got to the U.S. a week ago yesterday, and it's up there for a very long time. And I'm like, Where, where's my stuff? You know? But it came. So, you know. That's the good thing, is that it eventually came. That's the good thing. I'm not even sure what's playing right now, but uh, I know it's royalty free, so I shouldn't get in trouble for using it. Because these are all royalty free downloads from Magic Music on YouTube. Check them out, they got lots of royalty free music. They're like Audio Library, um, you know, that uh, that YouTube channel as well. So there's nothing in the box except for you. Maybe some extra fur. What? Look at me with these big yellow green eyes. Like, yes, I know you're cute. Is there anything else you wish to say? Besides, hi, I'm cute. I'm 
sometimes water is just what you need to hit the spot. I'm sorry if you hear any drinking noises. The mic's like over here, so like I'm hoping that like y'all aren't hearing it too much, but feel free to tell me to mute myself when I do that if you need me to. I will if you tell me. You just I just need to know, you know, if it's audible. I can't hear myself. I can't hear myself. Um, I can't hear the music in my headphones because OBS is stupid about that. So. Very annoying. So it would make my life a lot easier. Like, especially like with this stuff. With the wireless, you know. Be able to hear in the wireless headphones as well. But no, I can't do that. I think what I need is a little, like, pit mic. And then I can hear in the headset, you know, but I don't want to have to wear two things, you know, like, come on. Why can't I use the same device? It's silly. I should be able to use the same device. Use the same device in Discord. I don't have to use two different devices in Discord. I can use the same one. Come on, OBS. What? What are you crying for? What? Why are you crying? Hmm? Why are you going on? You don't have anything to cry about. You're perfectly healthy, happy, happy, well-fed little kitty. Like, why are you crying? Okay, there we go. Time to click a button, because notification. But anyways. What are you doing, cat? There's literally like two beds in here for her, and is she sitting on either of them? No. There's a sweater on the floor, there's a box, but no, the bed over there and the bed that's actually on the desk for her, not good enough. I swear, Kat's interest in a thing is inverse to the amount of money you've spent on it. Or whether it's denoted for them or not, because that sweater was actually, well, it was a Star Trek one from ThinkGeek, back when ThinkGeek was still a thing. And uh, yeah, it wasn't cheap, but also like it's not for her, so. Oh well. She's a cat, what are you gonna do, you know? So you can see how now it's really starting to go blue with that color. I put down. I think you can tell on there. Yeah, you can tell on that. You can tell that it's really starting to, to go blue. It's not as jarring a transition as it seems like on the winders. Like I promise you it's not as bad. Like when I put this one Next to this one, it's not so bad. And then when I put the next one next to that, it, again, it won't be quite as bad. We'll see. If I can. If I can count. So it's not as during a transition as it seems. I swear it isn't. One of those things where you kind of got to see it in person, but you know. All right. Well, that's one mini off of each of those skeins. Six down. So six to go. One down, six to go. Bring it back around so that this 
particular bar with the notches in it is always up top because then I know this is in a balanced position and it's not going to move. Because if it moves, it's really annoying real fast. So, you know. But. Yeah, basically I'm gonna finish this set and then if my husband's home, I'll call it a stream. If my husband is not home, I will in fact Take a quick break, feed the cat, and then, um, keep going, I guess. Until he gets home. Is that noise? Is that noise, though, or is that the neighbor? That was probably the neighbor. No, no messages. I'm good. Okay. I keep like glancing over to the side because my computer screen's over there. Along with um you know, OBS and the Twitch stream manager and all that jazz. Oh, and this just meh. Come on. There we go. And some of these are a little random, they're not just all like the same like hip hoppy electronica kind of things. I basically was like just going down on Magic Music's library and just downloading the songs, so there's going to be a lot more variety than there has been in the past. I'm not sticking to like a genre playlist here, I'm just going down like all the things. Also is, um, husband told me about this channel, it's a Twitch channel, and it's called Booty Mashup, and they do mashups of like, songs and stuff, I'm like, I, I know they can get away with it on stream because like, they're making the mashups like live on stream, but I don't think I can play the mashups because they are using copyrighted music. So you should go check them out. They're pretty fun. I swear they are. They're pretty fun. Some of them are weird. Like one of the mashups, we were in his car. He burned a CD of the stuff because I guess my husband still burns CDs in the year 2020. Um, he burned a CD of some of these songs, and one of the songs was a mashup of, um, which Taylor Swift song? I think, Are You Ready For It? And, like, Britney Spears Toxic, and I was like, what? Like, what is this? Those songs literally came out, like, 15 years apart. Why would you put them together? It was just one of those moments where I was like, are we listening to, like, what? I mean, it was entertaining. Like, I enjoyed it, but it was just one of those funny things where I was just like, what is going on? You know? Yeah, my hip is buzzing at me. I think it needs to be charged. Come on. You gonna show me, like, my battery, please? Thank you. Oh my god, stop. Okay, it's not clearing the notification. Fine. That one went one too far, so I bring it back around, and we're good. You gonna be it now? Did you clear? Oh my god, clear! Can I just see my friggin' like watch face, please? Why are you not letting me see my watch face? Thank you. Yes, I'm gonna have to charge this thing. It's down to like 20% battery. Oh, so I was wishing people different holidays and happiness earlier. And uh, one of the things I asked, <laughs> normally I just put a wish list together, but I legitimately just asked my husband for this yesterday. I'm like, okay, Wizards of the Coast is releasing special edition land cards for Magic the Gathering that are foil, that have Bob Ross paintings as the pictures on the land cards. Can I please have the set of land cards to like frame and put on my wall as one of my presents? He's like, you know this isn't gonna come until like March, right? Because this is a pre-order, and I'm like, yes, I know it's not going to come until March. I still would like it as my holiday present. Because, <laughs> you know, I think they're so pretty. If you haven't seen them, like, seriously, go look at them. Um, they are just 
they were just really pretty. I just, you know, and I like Bob Ross and I like Bob Ross paintings. I find them really soothing and stuff. And so I think it's really neat that Wizards of the Coast got together with the Ross estate and picked picked paintings to go on each of the lands for plains, water, forest, desert, you know. Swamp, they did. Fire, fire, water, forest, desert, swamp. No, plains and swamp, not desert. Plains and swamp. Yes, five? Yes, it is five lands. So there's five colors in magic. I remember my magic the gathering. It might have been a while since I played, but I remember my magic. It's five colors in magic. And they did two different paintings for each of the five lands. So there's ten cards in the set. And I want it so bad. It's so pretty. And they have like non-foil ones too. And the foil ones and the non-foil ones are just as pretty as the foil ones. But I'm just like, Can I have the foil ones, please. I mean, it's only a ten dollar difference. You know, it's thirty versus forty. So I'm just like, kind of these are the foil. They're extra shiny. Also, Amazon totally ruined what one of my holiday presents was because it was on my wish list on Amazon, and he ordered it for me. The problem is, is that it's an Amazon Basics product, and Amazon, even though it's a gift, did not think to put the box that this product came in in another box to hide the label labeling on the outside of their box saying what the product was. So yesterday, or the other day, no, not yesterday, Tuesday, when I got a notification that I received a delivery and I went outside to go get my box, there was in fact a pile of four boxes there, only one of which was mine. So I had to bring them all in and read all the labels and three of them had my husband's name on it and one of them had my name on it. But the problem is, is that I had to read the labels and thus I had to read the box and I read the box and I knew what one of my presents was because, hmm, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have bought that if I hadn't put it on my wish list, you know, so. Like, Amazon, if the thing is a gift, maybe put it in another box because the gifter might, in fact, live in the same house as the giftee and the giftee might be the person getting the mail. Just saying. You know, like, like, come on, just, you know. It's one of those silly moments where it's just like, oh, I cannot believe, it. you know. I mean, it wasn't a big present, it was a laptop sleeve, like, you know. But, like, come on. Okay, that's not something I need to deal with right away. Cool. Looks like I picked up a viewer. Thank you for coming and saying hi and checking us out. I'm winding minis. That wasn't obvious by the title of the stream. Feel free to say hi, ask me what I'm doing. If you have any questions, if you're curious, if you're wondering what I'm doing, feel free to do that. Tell me I gotta close this window because I unlocked my phone so this pops off my computer. Please stop. Okay. But yes, hello! Got a second viewer. Thank you, welcome. Feel free to say hi. Or ask me any questions about yarn and stuff. Or you can just watch too. I know that some people like the visual ASMR of the winder going around, so feel free to do that too. So, I have the yarn cam of all of the stuff down on the side over here. So it's mini number four off of these larger skeins. And so I'm on to mini number five once I'm done twisting these up. This is like the halfway point in the skeins. I mean, not that you can divide seven in half easily, but you know, I'd say that four is kind of the midpoint.
There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, I should have added the little iTunes thing that's showing you like what's playing. I did that on my I did that for my personal stream overlays, but not for the business overlays. I'll do that for next time. Where like because I'm now playing it out of iTunes, I can actually do the thing where I'm showing like what the the name of the track is, the artist as like credit, because it is royalty free, but I still need to credit, so woot woot, you know. There we go. It's funny, the package I'm supposed to be receiving today is like the screen protector for the phone that I don't have yet that's gonna be here on Sunday. This is like, uh huh, you know. But at least the screen protector will be here when the phone gets here so I can put it on immediately and not risk trashing the phone like at all, so that's the thing. It's like I hate dings in the screen of the phone. It drives me nuts. It's cracked or anything. I'm like, what? Beginning earlier this year, like before the pandemic started, I had my phone fall off the counter. The cat knocked it off. And it landed on the corner of the screen just enough to shatter it under the tempered glass screen protector. Like, I had a tempered glass screen protector on the phone, but it hit the ground in just such a way that it shattered underneath the protector. And I was just like, no. I mean, thank goodness it counted as like a warranty repair because it was an accident because I'd left it on its, you know, sitting on the counter and the cat knocked it off. And so like, you know, it's not like it was malicious intent or anything. It was a pure accident. She's just sitting comfy. I know you guys can't see her on the stream, but she's just sitting down there all comfy. Well, you might be able to see her like down the one, but she's over here. She's like right down there. Is right here. I don't think you can see it. I really don't. Nope. It's okay. But yeah. Okay, people need to stop, like, messaging me and stuff so that I can freaking, like, yes, Jesus, please, like, come on. There we go, okay. Sorry. Clearing notifications, always fun. Cause like they pop up like some of them I have pop up in the middle of the screen because they're they're for like, you know, email for work and stuff. So it's like, mmm, I need to see those, but yeah, they're still kind of annoying. But yeah, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, what a hundred ravens is, feel free. Happy to talk about something specific instead of just kind of rambling in circles. I mean, I can obviously talk because I've been going for an hour and a half at this point, but you know, we're almost an hour and a half. And then someone leaves. Well, okay, hello, goodbye. Thanks for checking us out. I'll see you again. Alright, come back here. And then the end, like to wonder about. So this is number six out of seven of the minis. So. We've got this. There's one more mini to left to wind off of here. At which point, I'll have one color left to do with two stains of that color, so instead of having all four on, I only have the two, but that's fine. I like to keep the color sets together, especially because I only have so much table space to put colors out on, so. That's, you know. Six. 
There's only one mini left to do in these colors. Am I going to go quiet like that when I'm twisting or when this is turning? It's because I'm counting. So I was thinking about investing into a, um, into a winder that automatically stops. Uh, but, oh, and husband is home. So I'm going to meet myself for just a sec. And I will be right back. All right, he has been notified that I'm winding. So when I'm done this set, AKA when I'm done the last color, I'm gonna call it for the night. Come on, here we go. Right. Got six of this color. Right, last one for the use. There we go. All right, cool, got that. Let's see, be, yes, you're not tangled. Yes, okay, good. Oh, sometimes the minis will cross over each other a little bit and it's like, no, stop, please don't. Really though, it's because um, I'm doing four on here when really it's meant to do three, so. We added a fourth hook that I could put the yarn through because, yeah, it's a little more efficient that way to be able to do four at a time instead of three at a time. Especially because when I'm doing double sets like this, I can do both of a color at the same time instead of having to split one of them. There we go. Seven, one. And seven two. There you go. And that one. So that's color five done. There's this one. So the reason I like twist them up and then I untwist them a little bit is to even out the twist in the mini after it's been folded in half. So when I do it like this. The, min the twist is actually uneven in here, and when I fold it in half, it gets even more uneven. You can see how it kind of does the thing where it doesn't twist itself up evenly. So what I do is I untwist it just a little bit, you know, and then I just kind of do it back up again. And there you go, nice and even. That color is all set. So these are just long enough to save because they go around once plus some. So hang that up. I got one color left, I got two skeins. And that's it. So, there we go. Move it up. Because I was hovering on something that was showing a preview of something else. I'm like, no, stop. There we go. Thought I heard the cat, but I'm going to come back upstairs. I hear you. I hear a cat. I really like this look. <laughs> I don't know, there's something about this song I really like. I enjoy it. But, there we go, that's the left ring. There we go. Alright. 
Look out that sock. Sock is fit. Dang. Let me try to check one thing. There we go. Check that. Awesome. Okay, cool. All right. So, got all the ties on me, so I'm going to cut the big ties at the end. I like this song. <laughs> what can I say? I enjoy it. I don't know, there's just something about it that I really like. I know, I'm not a good dancer. I'm not. I'm not. Do not. <laughs> Oh, nope, don't come off the velcro, thank you. That happens sometimes and I don't like it. So that's the breath fan popping off. As, like I was saying earlier, we need a new one. There we go, but I got it back on. I just have to finish these two skeins, like, and then I can just stop for the night, right? Like, I didn't bother turning the motor back on for those, because there's just a few, and I had the number in my head, so I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna, just gonna do it real quick. And I'll use the motor again for the next one. One of seven, this is one of seven. You can now see the full on the side table here. You can now see the full color spread. So that is Shanti all together, all wound up and pretty. Number two. Oh. You can see how my fast work goes when it's just like the two skeins or whatever, you know, so. But I like having the whole set done because then I can label them, but I'll do that later. I'll do that on stream today.
three. And on to four. Just trying to get these done, because it's, it's, it's been like almost two hours, so I just want these done. If you were astute and can count fast, you could probably figure out how many times it's going around. Unless the camera's blurring it, in which case not, but you, know, you might be able to. Don't actually know. That one's a little short, but I'll just tighten that knot. Why am I getting notifications? Please stop. Oh, okay. Four, halfway there. I'll probably also figure out how many times I twist these up to get the minis as well, if you watch closely. I don't know these are any big company secrets, but I'm not, you know, but just saying. If you're paying attention, you might be able to figure it out. Number five. So two more minis left to do. In lip read, you can probably do it too. Sometimes I count to myself. Short on that one. There we go. This one's not too bad either. Yeah, you can see here if there's a little bit more blah, 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 a little bit more left of this color than of some of the other colors today. And that's simply because this skein was a little heavier from the mill, but I've done the same number of wraps on these minis as I did on the other minis. So it's just a variation in the in the skeins. And I can't tell until I get to the end, unfortunately. So, you know, sometimes it's just like I get to the end, and it's like, oh, I could have done like another wrap on each of the minis, but at that point there's nothing I can do. It's like nobody wants a knot, so I'm not gonna add on. That 
last one to twist up, and then that's it for today. I know I keep looking off to the side because that's where the computer is. I'm sorry. Like, it is, you know. You know, maybe I'll turn this entire setup. I just had a thought. Maybe I'll turn this entire setup this way. I think it would fit, actually. And then I could have the camera in better spots. I think that's what I'll do. Not right now, but I think that's what I'll do. I rotate the entire thing and like skew it like this way a little bit. I think I can manage that. Anyways, um, if you watched, if you're watching us now, feel free to give us a follow here on Twitch so that you know when we go live. If you are watching this on YouTube, feel free to check us out in our other social media. We're much more active on um, like Instagram and Facebook and such. Um, and yeah, uh, feel free to check out our website as well. All that info is down below me. If you have any questions for us, you can email us. Our email is right there on the screen. And I um, hope everyone has enjoying December so far. Keep our fingers crossed the rest of 2020 goes well. And I will see you guys real soon.